Good morning. Today is a travel day. It is so early right now. I need to go ahead and pick up a car. I'm going to be doing a little solo trip, which is really nice, but I need to head out the door and like get ready for everything. But as you guys know, like I have been on the go these last few months, like just going nuts up. And the worst thing ever is carrying around all your supplements and everything, like all your vitamins, all these bottles that are just bulky and you just don't have room for in your carry-on, wherever your bag, whenever you're traveling. Thankfully, I have found the solution to all of my problems. There are these little AG1 packets. I'm sure you guys have seen AG1 before. I feel like they're all over social media. I love the travel packets because I've just been traveling so much, but they also have the big bulk that you can buy of the bag of this product, and you just have to store it in your fridge. They have a canister that you can like store it in in your fridge. But I'm loving these right now. Basically, AG1 is a drinkable source of different vitamins, supplements, and you just need to like literally open this up. They make it so easy. And then you pour this packet into 8 to 12 ounces of cold water, mix it up, shake it, drink it, take it on the go. This supports your overall health. It supports your gut health, so you don't have to like carry around a bunch of different vitamins for different things. I like to drink mine on an empty stomach in the morning or else I will forget. Like I need to do things in the morning. It's just the best for me to have routines in the morning with like this kind of stuff. It does have such a unique taste though. I will say it kind of, it reminds me of something but I can't remember what, but I taste a lot of like peppermint in it. I don't know why. It reminds me of something so specific, but I really cannot put my head, like wrap my hand around it. I used to take so many different supplements for so many different things, like my gut health with like probiotics, prebiotics, and then like multivitamins. So it's so nice that this just covers everything. Like you don't have to think about it. Also just living in New York, like I am always on the go and sometimes I just don't have time in the morning to do like a whole like big thing and just like have to go out the door so i like to carry this around and then i could just like drink it while i'm out and about on the go i'm going away for a few days so i'm going to bring my little travel packets and then i am driving today so i'm just going to like take this in the car and i'm all covered for the day right now ag1 is actually offering a surprise limited edition gift on top of the welcome kit whenever you subscribe and it won't last long so go to ag1.com slash page or you can scan the qr code on the screen to get started thank you to them for sponsoring this video and yeah i just love working with like wellness brands you guys know i'm like all about that all about that stuff especially you know dealing with so many health issues <laughs> i will do anything and try anything to support my health i need to pack get ready to go upstate i need to drive and drive in the city which is a little scary but we're gonna make it through the day I got ready for the day. I'm in the Catskills right now. I drove up from New York yesterday, well, New York City, and it was a two-hour drive, super easy. I highly recommend it. This is the most gorgeous hotel. It's like a little boutique hotel. They invited me in to stay for two nights, and Christina originally was supposed to go with me, but she had a family emergency, so she is not here with me. However, this has been such a beautiful, relaxing spot alone, and I'm here for it. So yesterday I got in, and I'm just working on some things. I grabbed lunch down the street. There's a cute little sister restaurant, and it's this gorgeous little diner. I highly recommend. I think I'm going to go there again for lunch because I want soup. Like, it is soup season, and a tomato soup would just hit right now with some bread. Oh, 
but then i woke up and i used the sauna and they have a red light therapy in there i had such a wellness morning and then i went downstairs to breakfast which everything was basically local from farms and it was just so good but i just got ready showered and i want to go to the lake walk around the lake it's about i think a 15 minute drive um i also need to drop off some laundry because i have stuff that just needs to be washed and i don't have laundry right now in new york city so i'm just going to do that i unboxed this little product bag i've been meaning to do it i came home from traveling guys this summer and i came home to a product package i was so i was just confused i was like at first i was like mm, this is probably just you know beauty because i've gotten sent there like perfumes and stuff so i was like okay it's probably just like prada beauty but then it came in this kind of box i'm going to show you guys and i was like that looks like a bag box but like let me not hype myself up too much like why would prada be sending me a bag and then i open it girl what prada sent me a bag <laughs> i think prada is my favorite brand like genuinely i feel like it just holds the test of time to truly like timeless chic and i think they're my favorite designer brand i just you guys know i just brought bought that product bag that my white one in japan i wear it all the time and so when they sent me this i was like you're literally lying like this is such a good i think this is the perfect like running out just daily bag and it's in black it's a nylon bag um they wrote me a letter too and it's handwritten so nice um it just says that this is the prada re-edition 2005 it's a classic piece made from prada reed nylon so the regenerated nylon is created through the recycling process and purification and purification of plastic collected from oceans fishing nets landfills and textile fiber waste globally so for my sustainable girlies like we love to see it in luxury fashion so they sent this over to me and they're like how cute there's a little bear charm as well and i think i'm going to literally wear this bag today because i'm just going to run like errands and go like hiking and stuff so i don't want to bring my bigger bag and this will be perfect so super cute the little bear they sent as well but i'm going to take it off for now because i'm literally just going to the lake like such a big trend right now big keychains and stuff on like big bags so I don't know if I'll keep it on this one because it's so big for this bag. Maybe like I'm going to see what other bags I have. I think a bigger bag would be more suited for this, but so adorable. This is just so sweet. Like it's so unexpected. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. And yeah, I need to, I just wanted to show you guys because I can't believe it. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to head out soon to go to the lake. <laughs> I just went to the diner and now I'm gonna go to the lake. I had a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup. Like, I'm sorry, I thought there was something on me. Soup season, we love to see it. And then I need to, oh shoot, why did this open up? I need to stop at the laundry mat on the way, put in the laundry. Then I'm gonna go to the lake and then I wanna go to like a cute little something, like a <laughs> shop or something. I have to be back here around. 6 30 for dinner at the restaurant and we'll see i kind of love having a car like i hate driving i had such bad anxiety driving up here because i hate having a rental car i just rented this at hertz in the city i've driven the same car like basically my whole life like my dad's car and i don't know other cars that well and they give me anxiety i don't know and like driving in new york is insane like i was pulling out and some man tried to pull it's, it's yeah in new york city they're just all assholes like i pulled out and i was at the red light turning right and this man started honking at me and was turning and almost hit me i was like you're honking at me you almost hit me i'm not the problem you're the problem and he was so rude oh my gosh i cannot like i don't care and then everyone just honks at you because you're not going fast enough on the highway the west side highway I was going above the speed limit a little bit and everyone's passing me going way more above the speed limit like go around me why do you have to honk I don't get it I hate driving in Manhattan and I just like I don't know but here I feel better so I'm gonna go to this laundry mat first it's like a 20 minute drive and then the lake
is love 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 when men ruin everything I mean, why i'm like out here just trying to mind my business and watch this beautiful lake at sunset and how this creepy old man just came up to me i'm alone mind you i just feel like this is not something you ask a girl that you know is alone <laughs> Or just period whenever you're literally 60, 50 years old. I'm just minding my business at this lake. The sun's setting, mind you. Like, we all know it's setting. It's sunset. And this man comes up to me and goes, did you come in from Georgia? And I was like, no. But that's where my car license place was. So I was like, no. Haha. <laughs> and he was like, well, I'm going to the top of the hill. He goes, no. What did he say? The view from the top of the mountain is beautiful. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> you come crazy no why would i want to come with you to the lake like i don't know i feel like yeah it could have been innocent but no not when the sun is setting and not on the top of the hill babe so i'm getting the fuck out of here unfortunately can't even enjoy the lake by myself so i guess i'll just go back to the hotel yeah. ready for dinner now i'm just going to dinner at the hotel alone i'm gonna take a book with me i forgot my tripod in the car so sorry about that i also just needed to decompress also this is sliding weird I don't know. I think the sliding's weird, but whatever. I needed to decompress from that man because he kind of just put me in a bad mood. I need to calm down a little bit because that was weird, that whole situation. So I'm fine now. I am going to dinner. I'm going to have a glass of wine because I deserve it. Actually, I'm going to show you guys in the mirror. Okay, this is so much better. I love this mirror too. Like, gorgeous. Hello. So, I just got ready. I have on this cardigan that I thrifted. I thrifted this cardigan a while ago. I have on these pants from Durf Avenue. And then my shoes perfectly match my cardigan. I thrifted and my shoes are thrifted as well. I got thrifted these in Japan. I love them. They're so cute because... They have like gold detailing on them, but they're very uncomfortable. So I just am going to suffer. The restaurant's connected to the hotel and it looks really cute. And the bar looks nice. So let's go. Also, I did laundry today and tell me why. It took me forever to do laundry because I needed to get cash out and I went to the bank. My bank wasn't, the bank here wasn't accepting my card. So then I had to go to the grocery store to get cash out. It was a whole scene, but I did it. I got coin, I got cash to do the laundry and I'm letting my sweat set dry here. I got this from Mad Happy sent me this and I have been living in this since they sent me it. Um, they did a collab with the New York Yankees and it's so cute. Love it. It's the Navy set that I got. And the quality and fit is just so nice. I've never had anything, I don't think, from Mad Happy. But I've been living in this since they sent me it. I need to, like, look at their pieces and see what else they have. Because I think I want to purchase. Because I haven't had a good sweatsuit in so long. I'm going to go to dinner, bring my book, have a glass of wine. <laughs> from dinner and I took my book guys I finished the whole thing I saw one of the quotes on TikTok and that's why I purchased this book and it was such an easy read and I was like literally sobbing at dinner because it made me so emotional it was just I don't know 
like I have a relationship with my dad, so I don't even know why this is making me sad, but like, I don't know, parts of it also resonated with me. Um, and also it's just about like being young and 16 and thinking the world is going to end essentially. So I would recommend reading it, it's just super easy. It's basically like, I wouldn't even say poems. I don't know, it's just a very easy read and it, it really got to me at dinner. So recommend, but um i'm going to take off my makeup dinner was phenomenal like everything was just so good here the food is all like local from the farm like ugh, i just sometimes i'm like do i need to escape to upstate or somewhere on a farm because i just love the quality of food and just everything's just so cute but then i'm like yeah i don't think i'm there yet small towns scare me because like weird things happen like you know old men but i don't know i just loved everything today the food was phenomenal i'm going to take off my makeup i got this fenty skin a while ago this is the makeup melting cleanser and i gave it to tori and i stole it from her like just for a few days because i needed the new cleanser so and i was at her apartment and i was like girl i'm selling this from you again just she's away on vacation anyways so she wasn't using it but I don't even think she really uses it, but I really like it. Did you see how oh, I didn't even show you? That's what I was going to show you. You press down here and then it squirts out, which is so cool. I think that just makes so much sense. Like, why would a cleansing balm not do that? But I haven't really used cleansing balms in a while because I've been using my cellar water just because I have more oily skin. However, I do sometimes miss oh, the cleansing balms because they just melt your makeup off and they feel so good. Like, I stopped using them because I thought my skin wasn't agreeing with them because I thought my cellar water was like just better for acne prone skin and I think it is but I was just taking a little brief you know intermission from them so I think I'll go back because I love them so much but the one thing the one beef I have with cleansing balms is no matter which one I've used I can see for like 30 minutes after taking off my makeup because it just makes my eyes, I don't know, the oils go into my eyes and I can't see anything. Like, literally, I don't know, maybe this is a me problem, but I'm literally blind after using a cleansing oil for 30 minutes afterwards. Like, the feeling just doesn't go away. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to take off my makeup. My camera's going to dry. So that's great. And then tomorrow I check out, I'm going to drive back up or back down to New York City. The drive was only like two hours, so it should be easy, but I'm gonna ask for a late checkout because I want to enjoy my time before driving back. And then I'm going to dinner tomorrow night actually with a brand, so that will be a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna stay in and enjoy having a TV and watch a movie. <laughs> Hello everyone! I am back. I'm now back in New York, but I had the cutest little stay. I loved it so much. Like that was literally perfect for one person. Sorry, this lighting is a little harsh. I don't know. But that was the cutest day ever. Perfect for like a little city getaway. It was only two hours from the city, so I highly recommend. And the place was just so aesthetically beautiful, so I just want to give them a little shout out because that was just such a beautiful stay. And I'm so happy they invited me in and everything was just so aesthetically pleasing. Everything nearby was like local fresh food and I just loved it so much. Like I definitely would love to go back with like a group of girlfriends or something like that. If you ski, it would be great. But also in the summertime, like to go to the lake for a few days, that would be so fun. So it was just so easy. It was really easy just renting a car to in Manhattan. I rented from Hertz and then yeah, I just drove it up. Super simple. The drive was really, really easy too. I'm going to end this vlog off. Set a new one because we need a fresh start in New York. I'll see you guys very, very soon.